In this lecture, we are going to learn and understand what are generics in TypeScript and what is their use. And we are also going to talk about some built-in generics in TypeScript. Generics in TypeScript are essentially placeholders for data types. They allow you to write flexible and reusable code that can work with different types of data without sacrificing the type safety. Let's try to understand it with an example. Let's say I want to create a function. I'll simply call it as swap. And this function, it is going to take an array. I'll call it as ARR. And for now, let's specify the type as any. Then it is going to take index one and index two. So index one, it is going to be of type number and index two also, it is going to be of type number. Then inside this function, we are going to write the logic for swapping the value at index one with the value at index two. Okay, now I'm not going to write the logic here. So what we want is when this function will be called, we can pass an array. Here we can pass an array of numbers. Let's say one, two, three, and we can pass the index. So let's say I want to swap value at index zero with value at index three. In the same way, I also want to call this swap function with string array. So here I'll have some string values. Okay, and here I can pass the value for index one and index two. So the value at index one will be swapped with the value at index three, actually two. And here also, since we have only three elements, I want to swap it with index two. Okay, so here you see for this ARR, we should be able to pass an array of any type. We should be able to pass an array of numbers. We should be able to pass an array of strings, an array of Boolean values, an array of some complex types. Okay. Now here we can of course use this any type, but when this swap function will be called, let's say it is going to return us a new array with the swapped value. So here let me also specify the type as any. So here we are telling that this function, it is going to return us an array of any type. And this error we have because we need to return some value from here. So for now, I'm simply going to return empty array. Okay, but you see the return type here is any. Now let's say we are passing some string values and in the result, we are going to receive an array of strings where the value from index one will be swapped with the value of index two. And now we want to read each value from that string array and we want to use some string function on that that we cannot do if we are using the type as any because this function can also be called with numeric array and in that case it is going to return an array of numbers so here it will not allow us to use the string methods on the string array we as a developer know that since we are passing a string array here we are going to receive a string array in return from the swap function but typescript does not know that and that's why if we try to use any string method on any one of these values from this array, it will not allow us to use it. So here what we can do is when we are creating this function at that time, we do not know what type of array we are going to receive. It can be an array of numbers. It can be an array of strings or it can be an array of some union type. So when we are creating this function at that time, we don't know what type of array we are going to receive. So what we can do here is instead of using this any type we can use generics and generic simply means a placeholder for a data type for example here i can say t of array and here it is going to return a t of array okay now here you see we have this error and it says cannot find name t that's because before using a placeholder for the data type so this t will be a placeholder for the data type when we are going to pass a value for this array parameter, it can be an array of T type and T can be any data type. So here we can pass an array of numbers. So this T will be number in that case. We can pass an array of string. In that case, this T will be string. We can pass an array of some union type. In that case, this T will be union type. So here we want to use generics and generics simply means that we are creating a generalized function which we can use with any data type. So 
we need to tell here that this t is going to be a placeholder for a data type and to do that what we need to do is when we are creating this function after that we need to use angle brackets like this and there we need to specify the placeholder name which in this case is going to be t okay so now we can use this t as a placeholder and whatever type of data we are going to receive for this arr array the same type of array we are also returning from this function so if we are passing an array of numbers for this arr this t will be number and this arr will be an array of numbers and the return value for this function will also be an array of numbers if we are passing an array of strings here in that case this t will be string this arr will be an array of string and the return type for this function will be an array of string okay so in this way generic is basically a placeholder for a data type and it allows us to write flexible and reusable code that can work with different types of data without sacrificing type safety now in typescript we have some built in generics for example an array is generic in typescript here when we create an array let me create an array here of numbers Let's say 10, 20, 30. Okay, if I hover over this num, you will see that this num is an array of numbers. Okay, so here we can explicitly specify its type as array of number, like this. Or this array of number which we are writing here, it is very similar to writing array of number. So this is also going to work and it should be array so this array of number it is same as writing number array so here arrays in typescript are also of generic type so basically this number here it is going to replace the t in array of t so array in typescript is defined like this and this t can be replaced with any type here we are replacing it with number we can create an array of string and this t will be replaced by that string and so on so arrays are generic in typescript in the same way promises are also generic in typescript so here let me create a variable let's call it p and let's go ahead and let's create a new promise now promise is native to javascript but we can also use it in typescript and to this promise we need to pass a callback function and this callback function is going to receive the resolve and reject callback functions and then we can write some logic for example i can say set timeout there let's pass a callback function and let's specify the time interval as maybe one second and after one second we want to resolve this promise for that we will call this resolve function and from there let's say i want to return a numeric value 100 okay and here we have the error because as you can see it says we need to change our library to ES2015 or later. So here let's open tsconfig.json file. Let's see what library we are using. We are saying ES5 but here I am going to change it to ES2015 because promises were introduced in ES2015. Let's save the changes. Let's go to app.ts and now that error should be gone. Okay, so here we are creating a promise and this promise is going to result to a numeric value but this promise can return a value of any type it can result to a value of any type it can result to a string value also for example hello and we will not have any error and it can also result to a boolean value for example true and we will not have any error and this is because promises are generic types okay so for example if i hover over this p you see Currently, it will resolve to an unknown type, but we can change this unknown type to some other type. For example, let's say from this promise, we should always resolve to numeric value. In that case, we can specify the type for the promise as promise of number. And now, this promise will always resolve, it will always return a numeric value. If we try to return any other value, let's say string value, we will get an error 
okay argument of a type string is not assignable to parameter of type number so now in this way we are telling typescript that this promise should always return a numeric value it should always result to a numeric value and that is possible because promises are also generic type in typescript so arrays are generic type in typescript promises are generic type and also objects are also generic type in case of objects its property key will always be a string value but the value for that property can be of any type so it is generic we can assign a value of any type to the property of an object in typescript so objects are also generic type in typescript so array promise and objects are three built-in generics in typescript now remember that generics are not available in javascript so when this typescript code will be compiled to javascript there you will not see any generic syntax but generics are available in typescript and it makes our code type safe so even though that code will be compiled to javascript that javascript code will be type safe and that's the main reason why we use typescript because it allows us to write type safe javascript code which is not possible with vanilla javascript so i hope with this lecture now you have a basic understanding of what generics are and what is its use in the next lecture let's try to create a generic function and let's try to understand this generic concept in more detail this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day